And again, this is going to be a special offer on all these parts for JKJL to you three million people that have them. It's going to be the largest discount we've ever had. It's only going to last for 40 days, hence our 40 year anniversary. That was Zach's idea. Good morning. Good morning. So we got a lot of cool new equipment last year. We did. But the one thing we didn't get is what you've been requesting the most, I believe. For years. For years. <laughs> So he's wanted a new trailer for Collins Classic, specifically one that has a tilt bed. Yep. Which I would agree with, because you saw Sean and I struggle profusely trying to get a Corvette on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we put the video out asking people which one they recommended. And that day we had used that, we had talked to Jonathan Edwards about his Max D. Mm -hmm. Lots of compliments about that trailer. Did some research. We had Elliot reach out to us from Regal Trailers. Okay. And uh, guess what? We got it. We're going to go get a Max D today. Awesome. Then after that, we're going to pick up 2024 JL Wrangler. We're going to bring it back and we're going to build it for the 40th anniversary of Collins Brothers, which will be 40 years old in October. Very cool. And we're going to have a sale for the first time, big sale on all the Black Mountain products that go on JK and JL. So grab your cup of joe, stay tuned, see our new trailer, see our 2024 Jeep, see the build and see the special deals. Okay, so we're at Regal Trailer Sales off of I-20 between Wills Point and Canton, Texas. We're gonna go look for Elliot. Where are we, Alex? Are we in Wills Point or are we in Canton? I have no idea, my GPS doesn't mind it. Thank you. Alex. Elliot, nice, nice to meet you, brother. How are you, sir? Good. You Elliot? Yes, sir. Hi, Dennis Collins. Nice to meet you, Dennis. You too. Thanks for working with us on the phone. We never met in person. Yes, sir. All right, no Alex and Zach on the camera. Cool, man. Nice to meet you, Zach. Too. You guys so, want to go take a look at the trailer? You we do. We got one quick question. Yes, are sir. you guys in Wills Point or are you in Canton? We're technically in Wills Point. That's our address. Okay. Uh, but we always tell people we're on the way to Canton. So, I just yeah. want that to be clear so you guys know how to get here. Let's go check it out. So Alex has been on me for a while to get us a new trailer for our classic cars. Okay. Uh, you know, so far, what I really like about this trailer is the name. Max D. <laughs> this is the T8X by Max D. So you're going to have two 8,000 pound torsion axles under it. Okay. Of two 8,000 pounds. So we can put a forklift on there. Oh yeah. All day. Uh, you've got a uh, steel floor with the E-Tracks on there. He said you want to be able to do the, the over the tire straps for your different cars and whatnot. So we put two rows on each side. Okay. Different winch cars. We went ahead and put that precision winch that you guys ordered in on it as well with the synthetic rope. Uh, diamond plate floor. All your centers under the trailer are going to be on 12 inch centers. So you're going to have plenty of uh, reinforcement under there. You should never have to worry about maybe missing your deck. So. You're not smiling yet. Should be. Oh, yeah. Two sets of E-Tracks, D-rings, and side rails to tie down on. Yes, sir. Wow. You got that knife edge rear. So whenever you're loading up cars, you're not having to, you know, go over a lip of any kind on it. That's cool. If you Love want to, that. we'll take a look at this. Uh... So you could drive over these. Yes, sir. So if they're too wide, it's not a problem. Got your wireless remote here for your deck. These tough wireless remotes are awesome. I could have this trailer across the highway up there, of course. And you can see it. How cool is that? That's cool. Well, Alex is the one that's got to learn all this. <laughs> I might run it, but not very often. Look at that. That is great. You got so the reason we went with the Pierce, which I like more, which is if we've had a Pierce on one of our trailers for 24 years and it still works. That's awesome. Uh, That's awesome. Yes, you got two hydraulic pistons under there, so you, instead of having the center one, you're going to have two on each side, so you don't ever have to worry about it trying to twist on you of any kind. So you can load up to an F450 on this thing and drive it all day long. You know what? That was one of the other uh, stipulations. Not only could we put a forklift on it, but we want to be able to put one of our 450s or 550s on it. Mm -hmm. We realize we could drive over, but having the single cylinder in the center, those are heavy trucks. Right. Yes, sir. How cool is that? That's cool. Yes, sir. And the majority of the time, I mean, the, really, I this kind of had this set up for emergencies. It's overkill. Right. Yeah. No. 95% of the time, we're just going to have classic cars on it. It's truly set up for emergencies, because if you ever had a blowout, instead of pulling a jack out, oh, yeah. I was up from the truck, raise these up, 
and you could lift your tires off the ground with it. It's strong enough too. It's sitting kind of low right now, but if we were to have it up in the air to lift those tires right up off the ground, you oh, can change them out. That? So. Wow. Here, not a whole lot of things get me excited anymore, but new equipment does. Here in the box, you got two interstate batteries in here. Okay. You got your hydraulic pump right here and your charger, your NOCO charger. It's going to be able to charge both of those batteries up, no problem. Cord, so you'll just stick that out, plug it in. Max D recommends at least once a week overnight plugging it in to keep it maintained. It will charge a little bit off your truck, but nowadays, if you haven't noticed already, they don't really push a whole lot of hot wire back there. So you're getting more of a trickle charge off your truck. This will make sure that those batteries stay maintained. What do you so, think about the small solar panels that just kind of trickle to them? In our opinion? Good luck with those. So you see all my dropping loads over there? Yeah. Every single one of them have one on there. Well, there if you they go. Sit, if they sit here for about four months, yeah. they'll be dead. Without me plugging them in, they'll be dead. Uh, they're great for deer leases and stuff like that, those smaller batteries. But these big marine interstate batteries, I mean, I just say plug it in. The, if you're running four or five solar panels, yeah, okay. you'll get a charge. Which well, is we've got a spot where all our trailers are. You've been trick charging them, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's easy enough to plug them in. Um, I like this one because it actually has excess cords. So if you need a little extra, you can pull it out to get it plugged in. So cool. you also have an onboard uh, remote here as well for there if you ever didn't charge this up. So. Yes, sir. I love the foot wheel, no bumper pull. We're way beyond that, aren't we, Alex? I love the drive over ramps, too, because every now and then we get something that's just too wide, some of the big Jeeps, dually trucks. You got your lights right here. Nope. You guys thought of damn near everything, huh? Yes, sir. We also have the wireless remote for your winch in the box as well. Came with the winch. Okay. Yes, sir. Any questions about the trailer? Functionality? How it's built? Well, it looks to me it's overbuilt, which is what I wanted. Like I yes, said, sir. we this is what Alex is going to be using on a regular basis, but I wanted it just in case one of our big rigs down the road, because we got to get them picked up quick. Yeah. As we're running 3,500s, 4,500s, 5,500s, and then we've got to do big forklifts. And, right. I think when we talked to you on the phone, it's like we do have 8,000 pound axles and we can do two rams, which I think is huge. Yes, sir. And this is one of the things that everybody, including Alex, has been asking for. Dual tracks. I, I'm, I'm old school. I go this route. New school guys go that route. Yes, sir. So, how, will they go all the way to yes, the sir, edge? All right, let's check this out. I'm going to go right up there and look. No back braking ramps anymore, Alex. Twenty thousand pound Pierce. Synthetic, like you like. Look at that massive clasp. <laughs> this hook around the whole bumper. Let's go. Yeah. Spare up on top. Wow, Elliot, you guys killed it. Love it. Last thing I want to point out. I told you on the build that it would be 16 ply tires, but next is we put 18 ply tires on everything. Okay. So you have 18 ply tires on here, and they're covered under a 12 month warranty. So if you have any issues with them, we're taking care of them. Oops. Eight lug wheels. So this is so far beyond any single trailer we've ever had. I think our dually wheel fit on it. <laughs> I think that's outstanding. Thank you. The start to finish on this was quick. Yes, sir. These guys are on it. Again, Regal Trailer Sales between Wills Point, Canton, Texas. Come see Elliot. Let's go home with this baby and go buy our first. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go get a 2024 Jeep right now. Let's go. Nice. And then we're going to go build that. And then we're going to show your trailer. Outstanding. That's awesome. All right, so we're here at Huff Ice to pick up our 2024 Jeep Wrangler, which has been redesigned. Believe it or not, the JL started in 2018. They've already had built over a million of them. Wow. So it's got a little refresh. I think it's more, as far as cosmetics, it's kind of the grill and the dash. But we're going to bring this back and build it our way, Black Mountain style, for Collins Brothers' 40th anniversary. Let's go get it.
Yep. Mr. Foley, how are you, sir? Is that my green Demon 170 up there? You want it? I do want it. <laughs> no, it's not very much. Did you yet. get my 2024? Yes, sir. Right here, 24. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's I want to see it. it. Show us all the new changes. Oh, yeah. Which I think I know what they are, but. Yeah, this is your new 24. We'd like to start with the. Okay. There is no antenna. Okay. They, put, they took the antenna off. People get tired of having to take out the antenna all the time. Now it's in the glass. Makes it much easier for car wash and everything. Oh, and wow. a much more expensive piece of glass. Yes. Depends how you look at it. Okay. That's true. <laughs> everything outside pretty close to the same. You get the premium top. But you look inside of it now, it has the new 12 inch grill. All of them come with it. Okay. So I see they changed the grill a little bit. Yeah. Is the hood the same? Yes. It looks the same. Wow. The screen is bigger. The design of everything. So now they all have a 12 inch screen? 12 inch screen. Now you have two different places to put your ducts in there. <laughs> okay. That's cool. You got the keys? Yes, I do. We also got, which is actually rare, I like them though, a six speed manual. Yes. And a soft top. Soft top, and this one has the, uh, the you got the premium um, windows with the, so, with the half doors. That's why it's all compact in here, all the half doors in the back. We're going to actually use the half doors in here on another Jeep. How do you turn the screen on? Press the button. You got to be smarter than the Jeep. <laughs> Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so. Yeah, that's, that's great looking. Mm -hmm. I like the stitching on the dash. It's very cool. That's neat, huh? Yeah. Notice the new stitching on the seats and everything, make it look a little different. Yeah, it is different. I like the, the cloth is different color on the seats. There's actually quite a few different styling cues. And we got the 3.6. Yes. It's been so long since I ordered this, I forgot what we got. <laughs> 3.6. Still, <laughs> still has 285 horsepower, 260 pounds torque. Same engine. Love this motor. 360 been great. Yeah, you know, they've built over a million JLs already. Oh yeah. All right, well you know what we're gonna do this one. We're gonna go Black Mountain style. There you go. Let's go ahead and get you paid. Keys are in it, Alex. Go. Cool. Load her up. We'll bring it back and we'll do lift, wheels, tires, sidebars, fender flares, bumpers, decal kit, hood, and some other cool stuff. So stay tuned for that and watch Alex use the new Max D. Kind of excited about that. I'll go pay for this. Well, the 2024 Black Mountain conversion is done. We'll do a quick walk around on that. Just a quick background of the company for those of you that don't know and it's specifically watching the show for the rescues of the classic cars and some of the classic Jeeps. Our mainstay here is Jeep CJ and Jeep Wrangler, which is the YJ, TJ, JK, and JL. So 
that is our main focus at the shop. It's mainly what Kelsey and I actually do, but we love that you follow along on our classic car runs because we love that as well. We're going to show some more Jeep stuff this year. This is our 40th anniversary this year. So we decided the best way to reach the most of our customers is we're going to focus on the JK and JL Wrangler customers. Why? Because that's the highest number of production built out there. The JK's 07 to 18, there was almost 2 million built. 2 million. And the JL started mid-year 18 through current day 2024, they're at about 1.3 million. So that's 3 million people. We have a line of product called Black Mountain. You can get to that by blkmtnjeep.com. That is a line that we started in 2007. We have all the products on that site fit the 07 to 18 JKs in the 18 and a half to current day 2024 JLs. So as you can see, all CJ's in here right now. This is not staged, this is all the stuff we're working on, but this is our 2024, some of our Black Mountain parts. Now we have these bumpers in stage one, stage two, stage three. Basically, this is our widest width bumper. Go to the next bumper, this section's gonna be, it'll, it goes shorter to here than to here. So we got stage one, two, and three bumpers. We have LED lights of all sizes. These are kind of neat right here. Cal mounted LED lights. These, these brackets are very cheap. And again, this is going to be a special offer on all these parts for JKJL to you 3 million people that have them. It's going to be the largest discount we've ever had. It's only going to last for 40 days, hence our 40 year anniversary. That was Zach's idea. These are our 10 inch wide aluminum flares. They come already powder coated. As you can see, and here's our turn signal right here. And then we also have these in 12 inch wide, and that's at the widest point. These are our 17 inch black mountain alloy wheels, specifically designed for the JK and the JL with the proper offset. You get a, I much prefer the 17 inch tires because you have more tire on the ground. These Jeeps ride and drive better. These are our Black Mountain sidebars, three bar side steps. Also work nicely as a rock slider. Black Mountain stripe kit, Black Mountain heat reduction hood. These hoods are great. It takes all the shake out of the hood. It does cool the motor better. It's a great look. We also have a cal induction hood. This is our heat reduction grill. Some people call it an angry grill. I think it really sets the Jeep apart by changing it, by changing the front bumper. We also level these Jeeps out. This has a three quarter inch Black Mountain leveling kit. We also offer a two and a half inch lift kit, which if you're gonna go 37 inch tires, it's great. These are good DIY parts that can be done at home, or if you wanna bring it to us, we'd be happy to install it. But I tell you what, thanks to all our Jeep customers out there and those of you that watch for classic cars, but this is what we're mainly all about. Jeep CJs, YJs, TJs, JKs, and JLs. If you know somebody that has a JK or JL, one of those three million people, whether somebody in your family, your neighbor, let them know. This is gonna be the biggest discount we've ever offered on these parts. A lot more accessories that I didn't show here today on this Jeep. Share it with them. Uh, it's only gonna be going on for 40 days. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Next week, Holy Grail Corvette. We'll see you then. As always, please like, share, and follow. And most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week.